Well, I live next door, so. <laughs> Man, it was a long drive. Hope you, <laughs> hope you packed a lunch. It is a long drive from your place. To place. Oops. Oh, I wanted to ask you something about your truck. Okay. You know, I bought this one, well, I don't know, working on two years ago, and you bought one a year ago, and then I bought one for my business partners about a month ago, and uh, I still haven't got my chips. Wow, so I've got a 21. They didn't promise me any chips, so I'm not chipless, but I am chipless, I guess, but I just, they wrote them off and said, no, you're not getting the, the stuff that you want. What chips are you missing? Um, right now, I am missing the proximity, the parking proximity alerts for the front and rear, which sucks, sucks, especially the front, since there's no camera in the front. Um, but you, do but you have surround cameras? I didn't get that either. Oh, uh, there's a list of things. Uh, heads up display, surround cameras, heated rear seats, um, auto start, auto off. Well, we can not really worry about that one. Yeah, but it is it's supposed to be on the truck and it's not. But for right now, the uh, what I've got is I've got a two-year-old truck that I bought that's not near as nice as the, the 2019s that I bought before, um, but I paid more for it uh, because it uh, there's a chip shortage because of COVID, right? And so... Uh, and you got a new truck, why? Because the lifters failed on the last one. At how many miles? 70,000. That truck's not wore out at 70,000. No, but. I actually bought two at the same time and the lifters failed on both of them. But that's probably a- Another video. Another video. But yeah, for now, right now what I've got is a uh, two-year-old truck that is missing the chips for the auto off or auto stop, auto start, and for the front and rear parking assist. Uh, and I went by the dealer. Well, we can talk about this. You want to sit down and have a drink? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Kurt, your new garage looks like a Coca-Cola commercial. We know there, there could be a sponsorship involved. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if, if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, today we're going to talk about the chips for the GMC trucks. Uh, specifically, the Denali that I've got. And I know that this has been an ongoing situation with GMC, at least, that we know of, where during COVID, if you purchased a vehicle during COVID, there was a shortage of trucks, primarily because of a shortage of chips, yeah. supply chain issues or whatnot. And uh, so they shipped a lot of trucks without all the functionality because they didn't have the chips. Some of the functionality you just didn't get which you experienced in your truck. Yep. And I, th I think in 21, I, I think that with the chip shortage, they just made a point to not give you whatever they couldn't get. Right. Where in 22, they kind of came around, I guess people were bitching enough that, okay, well, we'll give you the chips when they're available. And we're going to give you a little bit of a credit as a kind of a good faith uh, for us screwing up. And so the stuff that we're talking about is uh, like my truck does not have heads up display, or surround surround cameras, which my previous one did. Heated rear seats, which we finally had gotten, which now I don't have. Um, <laughs> auto stop, um, front and rear proximity, which we could do alerts, which are pretty important. Yeah. Uh, but those are all just individual items. My particular truck specifically did not have chips for the auto stop and for the front and rear parking sensors. And there is a notation on the uh, window sticker, which I'll post up here, that where it says there's a line item on there that says that's not on there. And they deducted $50 or $100 a line item from the sticker because those items were not on it. And then there's a note on the bottom that said that they will install those when the chips become available. And that's fair. Yeah. I, I needed a truck. It was the only truck to be had, so I bought it. <laughs> uh, but... Going to present now, it's been the better part of two years since I bought that truck. 
And now, since then, my business partner, we have bought him a 2023 GMC Denali 1500 6.2 Ultimate. And that truck's got everything. I mean, that truck's got stuff that my truck wouldn't have had if it had everything on it. Uh, I think we know where your chips are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, and that's kind of the point of this video. Because I did go down to the dealer and talk to him about it after he received his truck. I hated to sound... I was a whiner, <laughs> but that's what it looked like. But I was like, hey, man, where are my chips? And uh, so they haven't shipped all the chips out yet. They have been shipping a few out, uh, is what he told me. And they get a notification from the manufacturer, and he showed me a piece of paper with one that was for a customer. And it said that uh, that customer can now be contacted to have his the missing chips installed in their truck. But the issue was the chips were on back order. So I don't know. <laughs> Not sure that solved the problem. Work, work out very well. uh, and I said, so when when do I get my chips? And he says he doesn't know. There's not really a way to follow up on it. He doesn't know how they're working the list. Just at some point in the future, I'm supposed to get a letter to the dealer that says now's the time for my chips to be installed and I can go down there and do it. I don't know. I usually keep trucks two years, so I'm well, so not looking promising. We'll see how that works <laughs> out. But uh, and so the purpose of this video is we don't have an answer for where the chips are yeah uh that's just the story behind them about what the situation is with the trucks apparently it's it's better now if you buy a real nice truck but what about us guys what about us guys <clears throat> from the last two years that bought trucks that didn't or cars or cars or whatever happens yeah. to be out there uh that that's missing the functionality or has functionality that's installed but doesn't have the chips to make it work and so we're waiting on the chips so hopefully with this video we can get you guys that uh, are out, or gals, that are out there, not necessarily GMC and Chevrolet, but any of the manufacturers uh, that had chip situations and shipped vehicles without them with the promise that they were going to put the chips in later. Uh, what have you heard? You know, is there, uh, is there, have you, have you experienced this? Do you have vehicles that are waiting on chips? And what have you been told? And if you have received them, you know, how long did it take and what did you get? Just trying to find out what the situation is out there and maybe send a little note to the manufacturer. Or how, and how to get moved up on the list. That's right. But just me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we bought, uh, between <clears throat> Kurt and I, we've had probably 10 GMC Denali's in the yeah. last seven years. Uh, so we're, we're probably as, as versed as anyone. And we've done a lot of videos. We used to have some of the most video views on YouTube for GMC Denali's, uh, and I we're fans. We're big fans. Oh, we love the trucks. Yep. Yes, uh, yes. It sounds like we're bitching, and we are. But uh, <laughs> we could go buy something else. We just have chosen not to. That there's, we just love the Denali trucks. We love the look. We love the comfort. Yep. We love the amenities. I'm still a GMC Denali fan. I will still consider them when I'm buying my next truck. If I get my chips. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's, uh, so no real news to put out for us. We're just kind of a status report here. Let us know what you guys think, what your thoughts are on it. And uh, we'll uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks for having us back, by the way. Thanks for stopping in. It's been a couple of years that we've kind of taken off because of COVID and we both relocated to the same street. So we now live across the street from each other, and we both have new really cool garages, so there is no excuse for us not doing videos. So this is it. Yep. Sounds good. Well, thanks for being with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Leave some comments. And uh, we really want to hear what your experience has been with this. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Also, uh, check out uh, Full Octane Insurance yep. for your insurance needs for your collector cars. And check out Driving with Melissa. We have more pictures and stuff on there, too. Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. We'll see you soon. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I did that through the whole video. Oh, I don't know. It's like horses walking by. I think that was <laughs> for a second. Hi. There we go. Let's see. How's that? Touch my knee. Oh, man. <laughs> Hi, I'm James. And I'm Kurt. Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. And today we got a problem. Hopefully it's not the audio. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a Coca-Cola commercial. <laughs> we got our Coke tables. 
with our Cokes that we're drinking. We are not sponsored by Coca-Cola, but we would if they were interested. <laughs> we'd be willing to entertain that and Texaco. Thanks for destroying my short-term memory. Uh, yeah. All right. This place looks like a Coca-Cola commercial that you're building here. We need a sponsor like Coca-Cola. Yeah. If you're watching, feel free to give us a holler. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, the lifter situation for... No. <laughs> God damn it. It did eat your brain.